so I would like to continue. Thank you that you are here. And today I would like to present another uh, contribution with my uh, colleague Lenka Kuklišová Pavelková. This is uh, she is also from my institute, from Info Institute of Information Theory and Automation. And I would like to present particle swarm optimization for model predictive control adaptation. You can see that I focus more or less on model predictive control, and I try to uh, solve the questions and tasks around uh, control for robotics and mechatronic system. So let's start. Outline of my presentation. Firstly, uh, I would like to show you several preliminaries to it, uh, about the model. The model uh, will be a little bit different. Uh, then I will focus on particle swarm optimization algorithm. Uh, this is the main point of my presentation. From comparison, I add also least square uh, method algorithm for identification. Then I will focus of, on uh, model predictive control with adaptive uh, feature. Then I will show you main results from a uh, theoretical point of view of the paper. And then we saw simple experiments. And then I focus, uh, I conclude my presentation by short conclusion. So here is more or less a little bit different motivation. So we have model with a lot of data and we should provide more precise parameter of such model. So uh, in some time, it's not simple to uh, add uh, standard identification method to control process. So we should serve, uh, search for some more simple algorithm and particle swarm up, uh, optimization algorithm is one of them. So uh, as motivation is right in here, uh, simple suboptimal identification algorithm. So it means that it's not precise enough, but it gives us uh, very good results usable for praxis. It uh, offers fast detection of changes of parameters. So it means that we can focus on specific parameter like moments of inertia, and then uh, we provide identification or determination of such parameter uh, separately from other uh, constant or known parameters. And as I write, written here, uh, this uh, algorithm can run either fully in parallel is standard uh, identification. It's suitable in cases where standard identification should start. And in this situation, there is no data or information for initialization. And this uh, particle swarm optimization can start with minimal information without specific settings. And for this presentation, I select autoregressive model with external uh, input known as RX model. Uh, like here, it's uh, simple for uh, reproduction, if you have interest, you can directly use it uh, without any problem. But uh, particle swarm optimization can be adapted for any type of uh, models, states, uh, models, or data-driven models, and so on. So, mm, basis of particle swarm algorithm is very simple. You can imagine that you have standard kinematical quantities like accelerations, uh, speed, and position, and um, the similar uh, situation can be said that is included in particle swarm optimization. So you uh, design or you use some specific equation for uh, selecting some specific velocity and then this velocity which generates some specific uh, uh, orientation and um, 
speed of changing of the parameters you adopt here. So it means that there is uh, information about the speed based on acceleration coefficients uh, uh, here. And here is uh, generation of the position. So it means that it's very simple if you have speed and you describe the speed by difference then you obtain this equation and similar uh, is in uh, position manner. And here there are some information about uh, the coefficients, about the weights. So it means there are uh, some, uh, some variables. You can imagine, we say, uh, I speak about particle swarm uh, optimization. So it means uh, there is some s swarm. So uh, several particles and uh, during the optimization or computation of this, you provide a computation for whole swarm and then you should select the best one for one iteration. And for next iteration, you provide new optimization or new this computation and for number of uh, iterations, you obtain the best solution and this is the result for uh, your parameter. So it means that here you provide um, some uh, optimization from, it uh, from uh, iteration and this is only for the iteration and this is global optimum and final value in this global optimum is search um, position or parameter. And here you can see some uh, coefficients for tuning some terms because uh, you should uh, select uh, specific orientation which uh, leads to adequate uh, uh, optimal position and therefore there is some specific settings. Maybe I omit uh, some details, but every de uh, all details are written in the paper. But uh, you can see that uh, you select uh, or check uh, the error or distance from optimal optimum from uh, iteration and also from optimum from uh, global optim optimum and this way it's, it's very important to obtain adequate ratio between uh, uh, standard uh, deviation of the parameter or position and, and so on. Here is written algorithm, more or less this is the same what I already mentioned here. Here is another algorithm. This is um, least square algorithm for identification more or less in uh, standard, but in specific square root form. You can imagine that in case of uh, particles for uh, optimization, we use only multiplication and summation. So very simple mathematical operations, but all scientific algorithms for identification need more. And here, uh, here we should, for example, solve inverse um, uh, operation of the matrix and square root form, uh, it's uh, more suitable for uh, computational stable <laughs> uh, inverse of the matrix. So if you remember, this is standard model uh, of Rx model in condensed form. And here, this uh, model, it's repetition, have repetition for several uh, data samples to obtain adequate number of the equation for searching parameters. Here you compute uh, prediction error uh, from actual measured value and uh, combination of data and parameters. And by this criterion, we search for such parameters. So it means this is like um, criterion. Therefore, I can say that this method is up optimal in comparison is particle form iteration because here we evaluate some criteria. And uh, as I mentioned, here it's quadratic form and this quadratic com form can be decomposed to square root. So it means that we work only with square root. 
So you can imagine that is some rect rectangle or rectangle matrix and by specific orthogonal, triagonal, uh, orthogonal, triagonal uh, decomposition, you obtain just triangular matrix. And from this matrix, it's very simple to compute inverse of this matrix because uh, you start from this position. This is only division one element, one element, substitute to, to next equation and so on. And you obtain adequate results. And in next step, you add only one element, one row, and apply again uh, um, orthogonal triangle decomposition, and you obtain the same result. And this two submatrices, um, submatrices, you can use for computation of unknown parameters. So it means you select um, this uh, upper triangle matrix and one vector and you solve uh, this um, uh, equation very simply because uh, you have only one element, as I mentioned, and here it's zeros, and you compute from uh, back to up, and you obtain all parameters in simpler way. But uh, compute orthogonal triangle decomposition, uh, it takes also some computation demand. So main results, uh, it's more or less uh, recapitulation of particle swarm optimization. So in this case, we apply uh, it to parameter estimation because it's not uh, necessary to use only particle swarm optimization for uh, identification. So it's more or less optimization for any um, suitable issue uh, where you need some select some optimum and uh, by simple algorithm so you can use it. So initialization it's now connected with this uh, flowchart. Uh, here you can set up necessary parameters for identification and for control. So it means that we tested already uh, this uh, optimization in the loop, in the control loop. And here one main cycle means one uh, discrete step of the simulation. So identification block is the same block both for particle swarm optimization or least square method. So it means that you use one on another, but in one interface, so you don't need to change any uh, positions in your code. And uh, uh, then you can use model predictive control standardly, but with some specific uh, changing of uh, 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 equations of uh, motions because uh, predictive control usually use uh, state space model and here it's necessary to use uh, data driven model for this example but uh, it's possible to see uh, next uh, and uh, this is main cycle standardly and at the end of your uh, finish your trajectory or your uh, control process, you can provide final evaluation and visualization. For experiment, we select very simple model. Uh, transfer function of the model is here. It means that this is the model with two uh, stable roots. And for time uh, constant or time sampling time, uh, one uh, tenth uh, of the second, you obtain uh, such discrete transfer function or uh, <coughs> discrete um, uh, or difference equation. And for uh, for the experiment, we select uh, some uh, shape of uh, reference trajectory so it's some 
sinusoidal rectangular profile and here you can see response uh, with control design it's more or less uh, adequate uh, uh, because we uh, focus only on identification based on particle swarm optimization and we use uh, here very simple model predictive control as a positional algorithm but uh, it's also possible to remove some overshoots by another uh, uh, version of the algorithm but for us uh, well, uh, was important to obtain adequate results for such methods. So here you can see convergence, uh, red lines uh, um, means, uh, red lines mean uh, uh, ideal values of the parameters and uh, here on X axis you can see number of iterations. So for one group of data you need approximately <coughs> Uh, 20 or 25 iterations to obtain more or less adequate uh, uh, adequate uh, parameters in such tasks. And here you can see what's happened uh, or how to convergate convergate uh, convergate uh, the model during the control process. So this is um, number of iterations, and th there is uh, time. So like here, so uh, this X is uh, X co correspond to uh, this axis uh, where is control output or output of the system and there are control actions. And here you can see it uh, uh, trends of uh, PES or algor PSO algorithms here. Uh, you can see some um, distance bounces or deviations, but as I mentioned, uh, it, uh, this method is not um, optimal, but uh, here uh, these differences or freezing of this method is connected more or less with the setting of coefficients in um, uh, equation for, for velocities. Therefore, there is uh, such importance. And I would like to conclude my presentation. So here was presented, uh, uh, utilization of PESO algorithm uh, was presented within model predictive control to track changes in parameters of RX model. So it means that it's very good identic um, identificator or um, uh, detector of the changes because sometimes standard identification method can also have the problem during the changing uh, the situation so um, it's connected with the number of information in in uh, the data and uh, pass all algorithm can provide it and uh, as I mentioned uh, particle swarm optimization uses only simple mathematical operations, addition on and multiplication, and uh, only trends of acceleration coefficients or magnitude of uh, computers uh, computed velocities. You can imagine that you have swarm exactly, for example, swarm of birds, and these birds. Uh, move during workspace and search for local minimum. For example, there is a lot of food, so birds go this, go to this position and the situation in control or identification is the same. The model uh, swarm of parameters for, uh, search for the position where the control error or prediction error the model is the, the less and uh, we have uh, coefficients like global minimum and some f um, information about fitness function which give us information about pre precises of this process and uh, therefore this algorithm is very simple as I also mentioned um, this algorithm can monitor changes of parameters 
and consistency with expected trends. So it may be also usable for predictive maintenance in industry and in our future work, we will focus exactly on detection of isolated parameters uh, and uh, we would like to apply or test it as a parallel uh, identification method in, in industrial robotics. Okay, thank you very much. Thank and you very much. Any questions?